my hands started to close and it got to the point where it was basically two fists um, and then it was just, my hands were unusable basically, just couldn't do a thing. But Professor Hart had, he mentioned to me about a double hand transplant and at the time I kind of laughed and I thought that's like space age kind of things, I thought no way I'm going for that kind of thing. But after thinking about it for a wee while and then I spoke to Professor Hart again and I spoke to, I went down to Leeds and spoke to Professor Kay. Um, they were really understanding where I was coming from um, and they were really, really open about what might happen um, that I could lose my, lose my hands altogether. Um, it was just a, a risk. I said it was, it was unlikely, um, but it was a risk. My wife and I spoke about it, um, and we kind of came to the agreement that it was basically, we need to go for it. Um, I could end up losing my hands anyway. Had the operation, it was a 12-hour operation, um, or thereabouts. I think they had me in another 12-hour sedation, just to kind of keep me still, basically. Um, and then after that I woke up, and obviously, I, my hands, um, never ever say that I, I won't be uh, appreciative of it because it's it's gave me another lease for life basically. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm still, I'll be the first to admit, I'm still finding things hard just now, um, but things are getting better every every week with the, the physios and the, the OTs and I mean everything's just slowly getting better.